the cost overruns of installing our manufactured home on our wet patch of steep Oregon woods were alarming. When the contractor asked how big a deck I wanted out the sliding door, I said the minimum you can legally get away with. That was a small deck, as wide as the sliding door, extending out four feet, with stairs that went down to the ground, ending against a row of large rocks. The deck was too small to be of any use other than a fire escape, and I knew that one day I would enlarge it. First, I built a wooden boardwalk around the house. Then there were outbuildings to build, a carport, a storage shed, and an art studio. I built a drift boat and a dory, and other things in life got in the way. After I bought a sawmill and lumber began piling up, I no longer had an excuse not to enlarge the deck. This is part one. This represents the original four by six foot deck right outside the sliding glass door. This is what I plan to do. Move the original deck to beside the stairs and put in a new deck six by eight feet. Vegetation has grown in the years since the house and deck were put in. That rose to the right of the deck there covers the electrical outlet. I considered moving the trellis and cutting back the rows so I could expand the deck a couple of feet in that direction for better access to the electrical outlet, but that was more of a project than I was willing to take on. The supporting posts for the deck sit on concrete pads which sit on top of the ground. The ground was not undisturbed when the deck was built, so I've had to shim the posts from time to time as the ground settles. I was looking at the deck to see exactly how it was constructed and I was surprised to see that there are no large bolts, no lag screws. It's all put together and held to the side of the house with well, deck screws. Planning is not my strong suit, but I did figure out exactly how much lumber of various dimensions I would need to extend the deck, and I milled it and kept it separate from the rest of the lumber. One of the first things to do was seal the posts against water. I need to get these Posts weather sealed. I've had this so long I have no idea what the color is. Who cares? These are posts. Nobody looks at them. They're outside in the jungle. You bug holes in this one. I don't know if there are any bugs in there or not. And I might not use that post anyway. That's why I brought this one out. The posts I cut specifically for the deck are fir or hemlock, but one of them is full of bug holes, and I didn't want to use it if I didn't have to, so I brought out another post that I'd cut previously. It's alder. So eight feet's roughly about out to this. Get that figured out pretty soon. But the, what I want to do is take this end four feet of rail off in one piece, if I can, and take the whole thing. It'll be the end four feet down there. So the first thing to do is see what I can unscrew here with a minimum of disruption. So this is fastened to the house there and only there. One screw unless there's something back here I can't see.
I don't know if those broke or if the reverse threads are stronger and draw it in threads. The board wouldn't release. There had to be fasteners that I couldn't see. There were. They were in the floorboard. Those screw heads were full of dirt. I tried it by hand to get a better feel for what was going on. Can't do that and I might have stripped it by now. I gave up on the screws in the floor and went back down to the ones in the side that either broke or were stripped. I decided to drill holes alongside them to free them so I could pry the board off of them. Then it was back to the handyman's standby, brute force. One of the wedges had run into a screw. One screw seemed to be holding tight. Maybe that'll do it. I'll try the pry bar again with a hammer assist. Need to go cut some more wedges. I don't know what I'm doing more of. Driving the board up or driving this down. It looks right now like it's a little of both. Don't have all those screws out of the ends yet. If they weren't so damn hard, I'd cut them off with a saber saw. But they are hard. This part of the project would have gone much faster if I hadn't wanted to preserve the old parts. Now I have access to screws behind this. So, that's off. What I need to do right now... Is 
if this 2x8 up I fasten to that post but I think all that's supporting the deck now is a few screws into the side of the house I was concentrating on the ladder and the 2x8 and completely forgot about setting the camera. It takes time to get a solid setting for the ladder on this uneven soft ground. Once again, I forgot where the camera was pointing. Oh yeah, the camera. It still didn't seem quite right to me that the deck is held together with deck screws, no 3 8 inch lag screws or bolts, but that's the way the original was built and the building inspector approved it, so I guess it's okay. <laughs> 